Welcome back to one of the many voices that are stuck in my head. If I recall... Hey, Don. If I recall, we were headed over to the uh, Empire Hotel here to check on a plague bearer by the name of Miss Jezebel Locke. Hell of a name, Jezebel. Her name is basically an old word for slut. Fun. Yes? May I help you? I seek Queen Jezebel. Yes, Miss Locke is one of our more, um, popular guests. Why do you ask? Yeah, that's one word for it. I need a key to her kingdom. I can't do that. It's against hotel policy. I am the key master. <laughs> uh, I guess Jezebel is the gatekeeper then. I am the key master, and you will make me a key. I see. Well, in that case, perhaps I can make an exception. Here's the key to her suite. Have a nice evening. Thanks. That lock shall now open up to me. But um, I need blood. I can't go see her without the. Uh... Hmm. I mean, I guess I could, you know, try. Maybe I should have went with persuasion. Perhaps clientele of Miss Jezebel Locke. Yeesh, only about a third of the way up, but this is what we're going to have to do. Now, if I recall right, Miss Jezebel Locke is a vampire? That's what uh, Miss Damn Sale thinks, anyways. So, this is probably going to call for a katana. To her face. Yep, somebody's. Probably mine. I guess I could do the knife, but I just like the katana. Oh, yeah. Who do we have here? Are you a believer, little morsel? Have you come for the kind of enlightenment only Jezebel can give? Are you the Wicked Queen? Queen? Ah, yes. I am Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. You are Malkavian, are you not? Speaking in twisted riddles, your eyes dancing with visions they don't understand. Won't you dance with Jezebel, little morsel? You are a dangerous dark beauty without compare. Oh, come on now. Don't deny yourself the pleasure of Jezebel's talents. Just a few more steps and we can be enveloped by the sweet darkness. Become slaves to the desires of our wasted flesh. I forgot to bring Jim's little hat. Oh, you cannot escape me, little morsel. One way or another, you and I will intertwine our beings on the way into the Ninth Circle. And I will send you forth, full of the sweet sickness I carry. I wish not to wear the dark mantle you pass to the hired women. Who better than prostitutes to carry the dark gift I bring? Oh, will they not share it with the rest of those who revel in the pleasures of the flesh? I must release the world from your infectious instigations. Oh, this isn't going well. 
Oh, you want to play the gun game. Alright, we can do that. Standing up to a 44 Magnum. Get back here. Man, I am glad I bought this gun. I saw more shinies though. No means no. Kind of an ironic book for Jezebel to have. I don't think we're going to find too much else in here, though. I could have sworn that treasure chest would open. Also, we had a gun battle in the main hallway. You'd think someone would have called the cops by now. I got plenty of rounds left. For a gun that powerful, anyways. I mean, holy hell, that turned the fight right back around. That Uzi is damn near worthless. The moment I hit the trigger, you saw it. The screen went all crazy. I don't know how that keeps turning off. I just had a feeling. Hey, you should check on it. Stick with the special. Because we... Firstly, are getting a bit of free blood. That really helps the healing process. But we really probably should go see, uh, see about that boat. I don't think the jester likes being kept waiting. We'll check on uh we'll check on a few things when we get back. Ride. We sure the hell do. Like father, like child, I will ride while you drive. Kane has to suspect that we know he's Kane, right? I mean we're Malkavian. It's the hops, bro. That's the hops. Well, Let's go see what the fat herpy man has to say. Is it really this rainy in Santa Monica? I pictured it, I don't know, being nicer. Did you miss me? Can't see, can't see. Where have my eyes gone to? Hey, Arthur. Hey there, Slick. So many callers, so little time. I have some dirt on Muddy. So what'd you find out about Muddy? He's in a galaxy far, far away. Alright then. I'll have to call in some bounty hunters to help me find Muddy and a couple of other jumpers. Thanks for all your help. Thank me in pictures of presidents. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry about that. Here you are. Thank you, I am no longer here. See you around then. If you ever find yourself or a loved one locked up, please call. Your neck is as red as luscious liquid. Farewell. Let me see. We can sure as hell try. You have killed Jezebel Lock. Report back to Damn Sal. Where's the bit about the boat? So I know we gotta do that. Ah, here it is. Really? I should really start reading these quest things instead of making the. In 
instead of taking the initiative, I guess I should say, to just go. Because I know where I need to go. Why not just go? I really don't feel like talking to the Dark Daughter. Hop in. Get this big yellow beetle moving toward my destiny. Well, what have you got to say, Jester Prince? Hey, John. Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. Huh? Did you, uh, cover me, Tubbs! Huh? 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 Whew, what the shit? Who's he calling Tubbs? Give the Anarch community my regards. I will read you back the minutes. Nothing they haven't crassly delivered untold times within Elysium. You have to understand, most of the Anarchs know no better option, or have been bullied into their cause by the Unrulia ones. I can't fault all for the boorishness of a few. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the day. I am always ready to be already gone. Good. I'm counting on an encore exposition of the talent you showed earlier. Go. And remember, under no circumstances are you to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. We'll talk later. Good. There's a boat waiting for you on the beach in Santa Monica. Yes. Hmm. Interesting paintings. Wait a minute. Ah, that doesn't. However, dry the corpse in the oven with peppers and fur. Look, I tried that last time, and it wasn't nearly as tasty as I was led to believe. But since we're still back here in downtown... Man, these things are everywhere. Typical day in America. Hey, there's a gun in the middle of the road. 50-50 chance it was used in a crime. Apartment 2A it was. And since we're here, we might as well talk to the Wizard King and Damsail. They might have sweet, sweet quest rewards. Finally decided I wasn't up there, huh? <laughs> what? Ah, crap. How is it a criminal violation this time? I did the same damn thing last time. First floor. Second floor. Sparklies. Mr. Milton, you know who this is, and I do hope you realize that we're still on for tonight. Meet me at the agreed-upon location across from the bar by the underpass. Bring your associate, Mr. Durbin, as it is a two-man job that I am proposing. With any luck, the two of you are already on your way, and I shall see you soon. Goodbye. Neat. Across the street from a bar. Well, add that to the reasons we're going back to the last round. Probably. Anything new? Sparklies? Shitty guitar? Still banking them points. I wonder if we're gonna spend them on next. Ouch. Let's not waste our time doing that. 
It'll almost certainly end in failure anyways. I am not a lockpicker. Whee! Ow. That actually hurts. Come on, man, I'm a vampire. I live for danger. And... Pineapples. Hey, stop right there. Hey, how's it going? What the... Ah, crap. I knew I should have took the sewers. That's it. Oh shit, that guy drained fast. Oh, wonderful. Well, let's not do that again. No more bombs while the disease and CDC are raging. Wonderful. Anyways. My man, what is up? My shopping cart is empty. Let's buy some more boom shells for that sweet, sweet magnum. Yes. Ah, oh, I could have met her. We would have had a sweet, sweet day. A wonderful date. And her blood is delicious. Take that for what you will. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Well, Wizard King, might we trade words? Of course. I see. I still seek the source of the dark disease. I see. Well, return when you have more information. My shadow darkens other domains. Farewell. Not as enlightening or as productive as I was hoping. Perhaps damn cell will have a bit more for me. And I can check the uh, street across from the bar. Aw, oh, I wanted to hear what that voice had to say. I sound broken. Hotel Foxtrot. Listening to the voice of some CIA vampire. And I'll avoid you. I wouldn't mind knowing what CDC blood tastes like, but they always come in pairs. On the other hand... Nah, it's just too many witnesses right here on this street. If it was one or two, I'd probably try it. I got enough masquerade violations. Who's gonna bother? I can talk to you, I can talk to you. Let's talk to the lady. What? Get away from me! Leave me alone! I need to know the dark disease that haunts the homeless. Uh, oh, you do? Well, I don't believe you. You're after my aluminum cans, aren't you? Well, you're not gonna get them. Just get away! Damn it, she saw through it. I'll never get those cans now. Sing the song of Shadow Sickness, Solace One. Oh, okay. All I know is that old Tin Can Bill, he's been jabbering about some kind of monster that took him somewhere and got him sick. And that's all I know, okay? And that's all I'm saying. Where's the man of cans? Well, you can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar over there. Son of a bitch, how many people are across from the bar? And getting killed from across the bar. Anyways, let's go to the bar. Let's 
Skelter. You have anything new? So, yeah. Nope, nothing new. He doesn't have much of a role to play, I don't think. Damsel, on the other hand. I've been trying to keep up on the news of Bloodlines 2, and I I am very excited to see Damsel survives to make it into the sequel. Paul is dead. It is not a rumor. We told him to burn the blood and go to the hospital. Said he thought he'd get over it. Men are stubborn that way. Just proves the plague bearers gotta be found. On that note. Hmm. The carrier pigeon is extinct. Right on. Except we just did a second one over near the convention center. They're part of some doomsday cult, apparently. No telling how many there are, but it's open season on all these sick sons of bitches. Preach it, damn cell. More pigeons for this cat to catch. I begin my prowl. Try to keep my copyright infringements to a minimum. Deep of the Atlantic. Dark. Dreaming, sleeping. She did, and I already talked to one. They said something about a building across the street. And next time, we will find out what's inside this very, very dark, deserted warehouse looking place. Until then, farewell, vampire.